Did you know India is now planning for not just one but two AI powered townships? Hello, I am Ritesh Egde and I am here to share about something amazing. On September 30th, Kerala government along with Infopark announced something massive. Kerala's very first AI town, a township that will be fully augmented with artificial intelligence from traffic to waste management to energy, housing and even public services. The aim is for Kochi to become a global hub for innovation and smart living. AI will handle city services, power usage, waste management, public safety and even make learning and healthcare more personalized and accessible. This isn't just a collection of buildings with Wi-Fi. It's a vision where a city with artificial intelligence supports every part of the daily life, making it smoother, smarter, and more sustainable. And the ambition behind this is massive. The project is expected to attract close to 25,000 crores of investment, create over 2 lakh direct jobs, and over 4 lakh indirect jobs while also giving global IT companies space to expand in Kochi. But here's the thing, this isn't India's first attempt to build an AI-powered township. Back in September 2024, Karnataka announced the Greater Bangalore Integrated Township, GBIT, at Birdi, just outside Bangalore. That project is on a completely different scale, spread across 8,000 acres, and was pitched as next generation tech hub with AI as its core. Think of it as an entire urban ecosystem, housing, school, hospitals, infrastructure, and AI driven public services from day one. Karnataka's goal also includes decongesting Bangalore by shifting economic activities and infrastructures to the Bidhi region. This project is India's first AI powered city plan. Now, this isn't the first time we have heard about an AI-powered city. Around the world, countries have been experimenting with smart towns and AI-driven infrastructure. The UAE has been building AI-driven smart districts. China has already piloted zones where traffic, security, and electric bridge systems are fully automated. And of course, Saudi Arabia has its massive Neom project which is designed to use AI across multiple layers of city planning. So when you look at it in that context, India moving in that direction with both Kerala and Karnataka announcing its own AI township is a bold move. It shows that we don't want to be left behind in the global AI race and that India is ready to play at the same stage as some of the biggest projects worldwide. Also, the township we are talking about in Kerala which Infopark calls phase three of its project, which will be spread across a 300 acre campus in Kizakambalam, Kochi. Unlike Bangalore's enormous 8,000 acre plan, Kerala's IT town is focused, designed as a compact, but fully integrated AI township. The plan is to integrate workspaces, residential layouts, green spaces, and AI driven utilities all in one place. It's not just another IT park. The idea is to create living, breathing township with over 2 lakh direct jobs and 4 lakh indirect jobs expected to be generated. On top of that, the project aims to be carbon negative and zero waste, making it not just tech driven, but also environmentally ambitious. But here's where the conversation gets interesting. As exciting as it sounds, a lot of people are wondering how will it actually feel to live in a city where everything is controlled by AI? What does that mean for privacy, jobs, and daily routines? Think about it. Living in a city which is run by AI means a lot of your activities are monitored, optimized, and controlled by algorithms. And that raises serious questions. Who owns all that data? How secure is it? What happens if the system makes mistakes in traffic, in healthcare, and even in basic services? And then there is cultural side. India is diverse, emotional, and very people-driven in how we live. So the idea of handling everything over to AI 
from governance to utilities might not be something everyone accepts overnight. And at the same time, if it works, it could solve some of the biggest problems our city faces today. Traffic management, pollution, waste management, and energy shortages. These are the challenges that India has been wrestling for decades. So it's a balance. The vision is inspiring, but the execution is where the challenge lies. Even globally, projects like Neom are still figuring out how to turn bold announcements into real, livable communities. India will have to prove that these aren't just headlines, but something that truly be built and sustained. Either way, this is a fascinating step forward. With both Karnataka and Kerala now in the race, India is officially in the era of AI-powered township. But let me ask you, would you really want to be living in a town which is fully powered by AI, where every service, every detail, every decision is made by the use of technology? Or do you think we are not ready for that yet? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and do not forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and as always, I will see you in the next one.